<sighs> Another long day. Come in, Sophie. Good afternoon, Detective G. I have a couple more of your confidential files for you. Cases like these keep coming up. Oh, you mean the loss of files? Yeah, those. What are they? Well, I can't go into too many case-specific details, but I can tell you this. A loss of error happens when a drug is dispensed or prescribed incorrectly because it looks or sounds like another drug. Mm -hmm. And that drug could have a completely different indication. That seems very dangerous. Seems like you have a lot of work to do, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I'll let you get back to it. Okay, thanks, Sophie. Um, so it was great to see you today, Colleen. Um, it seems like you're still suffering from the osteoarthritis. Yes, that's right. Okay, so um, I'm just going to prescribe you something new today. It's going to be uh, Celebrex 200 milligrams. And uh, you can pick that up a little later today at your local pharmacy. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. I hope too. you feel better, okay? Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey, definitely. Hi, Annie. So I have a new prescription here for Miss um, Barker. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Selexa? Selexa. 20 milligrams. One tablet by mouth daily for one more. Okay. We've got a waiter. Page and consult. Can I get a check? Help! Does Ms. Parker need anything else for today? Oh, yeah, that's all for today. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Prescription? Sure, what's the name? Uh, Colleen Parker. I think I do a certain Just one prescription? What's the address? Ten's for sleep. Okay. Sign here. Oh, thank you. There's no charge. You're all set. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Yep. Have a good day. You too. Cyprexa, 20 milligrams. I thought the doctor said Celebrex. Is Cyprexa generic for Celebrex? In retrospect, all of these cases seem so preventable. All healthcare workers need to be aware of possible look-alike, sound-alike errors. They're easy to make, but they're also easy to prevent. Let's see where the errors in this case could have been prevented. Computer prescriber order entry can make interpreting prescriptions much easier. At the very least, legible handwriting is a must to prevent lots of errors. Being sure of the prescription and clarifying any uncertainties is incredibly important, especially with poor handwriting. Speaking slowly makes it easier for pharmacists to get the right information. On the other hand, pharmacists need to take the time to concentrate on the call. Multitasking, although sometimes necessary, can lead to errors. In addition, the prescription should be repeated back to the nurse for verification. New prescriptions especially should be accompanied by a counseling session. This not only verifies that the patient is picking up the correct medication, it allows them to learn about the medication and ask any questions they may have. The Joint Commission routinely updates a list of look-alike, sound-alike medications. Also, the FDA annually reviews the list of proposed drug names coming to market to reduce these issues. But a little extra attention paid by all healthcare personnel can greatly reduce the risk of loss of errors. And that would make my job a whole lot easier.